Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Classic Blues Introduction of the Month. And this month's selection is the introduction to a Lowell Folsom tune called Blue Soul. This has always been one of my favorite introductions. It's relatively simple to play and the idea of playing over the chords is something which I'm talking about in several of the lessons for, for this month. And it's a pretty easy concept. Let me try to play the whole thing for you one time, and then we'll break it down. That is pretty close. There's one part that I, I haven't quite learned all the way through, and I'll talk about that when I get to it. The song is in the key of F. And so we're basically going to be following the chords for the introduction from C to B flat to F. And so the introduction starts out with the sixth fret of the eighth, or the eighth fret of the sixth string, the bass note. That's the first phrase that's being played over the C. The second lick, he's doing a little rake with the first finger on the first and or the sixth, sorry, eighth fret, first and second strings. So it's kind of a quick downstroke, it sounds to me like. And then he's going to put his pinky, must be his pinky, on the eleventh fret of the second string. So the whole first part, that's the first phrase. And he holds it there, and then He's going to kind of walk over or pick over the, the F shape of the C. Going from the 10th fret of the 2nd string to the 8th fret to the 9th fret of the 3rd string to the 10th fret of the 4th string. So the whole first part over the C. And then he's going to go follow the, the chords to the B flat with that bass note. This is the 6th fret of the 6th string. And he does this. And he's playing over the which is the B flat chord. So the whole, the whole thing so far. He does another rake. This time over the first and second frets, first and second strings at the sixth fret. And I gotta play that in context. And then he goes to a bend on the eighth fret of the second string. He's got his first finger on the sixth fret. And he plays this, this little lick. So he's gonna bend it and let it come down. Back to the 8th fret, back to the 6th fret of the 2nd string, and then goes to the 8th fret, 7th fret of the 3rd string. So it's like this. And then twice on the 6th fret of the 2nd string. So that whole leg. There it is. I may have been confusing there. Check the tab. So the whole thing so far. He's going to play this. I'll try to play it all the way through. I think I messed it up in the intro, but the first part of it, he's doing this typical lick over the G7 shape, going from the first fret to the second fret on the third string, and then the first fret of the first string, and then to the fourth fret of the second string. F7, just outlining that shape, and then this part is the part I stumbled on at the beginning, but I'll break it down and try to get it right here. It does something like this, so it's first to the third fret on the second string, back to the first fret of the second string. From the third fret of the third string to the 
first fret of the second strip. So the whole thing, that lick. And then, third fret, third string, first fret, third string, third fret of the fourth string. That's what I'm hearing. So the whole thing, I'm pretty sure that's, that's it. And then, Sounds like he's going to go from that third fret of the fourth string again to either the first fret of the third string or a double stop. Lowell Folsom would use those double stops a lot. Like that, where I have the second and the third string with my first string. And then to the five, which is the third fret of the fifth string. And I played a C seventh chord way through slowly one time the introduction for Lowell Folsom's Blue Soul and into the song the cool thing there is how he plays over the chords so when he's playing here blues introduction that is from Lowell Folsom's Blue Soul and again the purpose of these introduction lessons is to give you some ideas for how to kick off a song and also show you some different classic blues introductions that, that will maybe help you come up with some of your own ideas combining these licks or using them in, in your own way. If you have any questions, comments, or requests for future lessons make sure you send me an email, a comment, let me know. And I will be back again in a couple months with another classic blues introduction.